In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an adorable polka dot number one out of fondant. Hi, it's Carolyn. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm a professional cake decorator just outside of Philly. I've been decorating cakes since 2002. And on this channel, I share my tips and tricks and ways that I bake and decorate cakes to help you along your journey. So if you'd like to join me, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can get notified whenever I release a new video. So I'm going to show you, I'm making a number one for an Elmo cake and I have a technique that I use to get these pretty polka dots on there and I wanted to show you how I do that. You can do any number, but in this one, I choose to just do a number one. And side note, I just got my hair did today and I never wear it straight, only when she blows it dry because I'll never get it to look like this ever again, but I'm so excited I got my red hair back. But anyway, <laughs> um, and also before we start, I just wanna let you know, I, got, I made my first free guide for you guys. It's a birthday cake design blueprint and it'll help you guys think of ideas to design your birthday cakes and I'll link that below. So let's get into the video. All right, so to do this, I have my cutting board with a wet paper towel in the corner. I always have a wet paper towel in the corner while I work so I can wipe off anything that I'm using. A lot of times the fondant starts to stick to your tools and it's just easier to have that there. You need an X-Acto knife. I always have a Dresden tool nearby just in case I need it. And to cut the dots, you want any round cutter. This is an Atico number 807 tip. Um, but you can use any size round cutter that you would like for this. And I'm using these patchwork cutters. They come in a set from actually one to nine. I can link these below. Just a note that six and nine are actually the same one. So you're not gonna have a six and a nine in there if you end up getting these. But for this, I'm making a number one. So I have the number one cutter. If you don't have these cutters, you can always uh, print out the number that you want to use, the size that you want, and then just trace that. I have other videos explaining that and I can link that below. And you're also going to need a little bit of water and a paintbrush as well. This number is going to be white, black, pink, and red. So I rolled out all of the fondant and the colors that I'm going to need. And I rolled it out really thin. It's, uh, I don't know, 16th of an inch. It's just really thin. I always mix my Tylos, I always mix my fondant with some Tylos powder. I make marshmallow fondant. I can link that recipe below. A little bit goes a long way with this powder. You only need like a half teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon, depending on how much fondant you want. Sprinkle it on the fondant, knead it together, roll it out and let it sit for at least 20 minutes, you know, 10 to 20 minutes, whatever. So the fondant is holding its shape. It's not falling apart when I hold it. So now to start, I just wanna cut a bunch of different colored polka dots out and set those aside. So I'll probably do, I don't know, 15 of each color. The fondant is starting to stick to this cutter. That's why I have the wet paper towel here to just wipe it off. I like cutting with these tips because as you cut, you can just keep going and the tip fills with all the circles that you've cut out. If you have just a regular small circle cutter, you have to cut each one and then take it out and then cut another one and take it out and it just takes longer. So there's probably more polka dots that I'm gonna need for this, but I'm gonna put them on the rest of my cake, so that's okay. Now, I'm gonna put this on white fondant and then have a black background. So I wanna, what I wanna do, just take my number cutter, or if you printed out a number that you wanna use, just put it down and trace the numbers, just so we know where the polka dots have to go. So I'm doing this on white fondant. I'm just light, lightly pressing down. I don't wanna cut the fondant out. But there, just so I have a general idea of where I want the polka dots to be. Then I'm gonna take some water and just wet this whole thing all the way. I'm gonna go above and below and to the left and to the right, I'm gonna go all over it. So I'm going outside of the lines and using, I don't know, a generous amount of water. I'm not making it soaking wet, but enough that the polka dots can stick and not too much that the water's gonna seep out. And now I'm going to put the polka dots on in rows. So you wanna make sure that you're covering at least 
the number one and a little bit on the outside. So I'll start up here. And I guess when I do this, I try not to get the same color to touch. So now I only need to do three here because when I go to cut this out, I'm only going to really need this top part. So then I go on the second row and you can have colors touch if you're not as crazy about it as I am, <laughs> but I'm just trying to not have any of the same colors touch. And you can see I'm going in, so I'm not doing it directly up and down. I'm going in and doing one underneath the, the two circles. So staggering, if you will. And I'm making sure that the polka dots are pressed up against each other and next to each other on all sides. So the only gaps are the ones in between here, not um, where they should be touching. All right, now that I have these down, I just wanna take my number and put it back on top to make sure that it covers the whole thing, right? So there are some dots that I put on that weren't necessary, that's fine. But before you cut it out, just put it down, make sure you have enough dots and say that I didn't have enough over here, then I would just fill in these spaces here. And now this is a little easier with a cutter. If you, um, I'm just gonna show it with the cutter. I have other videos on how I make numbers without a cutter and I will link that below. You could just cut out the number that you wanna put on and trace it and cut it out. But with this, it's so much easier you can just kind of center it where you want it to be. And then I'm going to, I'm not gonna to press too hard. I just wanna push enough to make the impression on the outer edges and then lift up. Because these little bars here, if you press too hard, they tend to put little marks in here. So I just like to use the cutter as a guide. And then take my X-Acto knife, wiping off any extra fondant that's not stuck on there. and just putting it all the way down to the cutting board and cut this the whole way out. So as I'm doing curved edges here, I'm just taking my knife and sawing up and down in a sawing motion. That way I'm not dragging the fondant and dragging the polka dots out of place. And removing it, there we go. This is pretty distracting here. I'll have to flip this over. There we go, much better. Okay, now just like I always do, whenever I cut anything out, there's always some ragged, jagged edges. Just take my finger and smoothing out all the cuts that I made. Now this is going on the front of a cake, not on top. So I'm going to, whatever color background you want, grab that fondant, we're gonna put that on there. Now, if I was gonna put this on the top of the cake, I would want to have my background color fondant rolled out at least like a, a quarter to a half inch thick. So it's thick enough that I can get a skewer in the bottom. I do have videos showing you how I do that. And I said that before, but I will link it below. But for now, we're just gonna do a thin background. So just flip this over and put it face down. Paint the back lightly with water, making sure you get all the way to the edges because the edges is the most important part that has to stick down. You don't wanna to use too much water. You don't want it to um, seep out underneath and get onto the black fondant that we're gonna put it on. So just enough to make it sticky. And then I'm gonna take my background color, flip it over because I want the good side to touch the back. Starting at one end, and I'm gonna place it down carefully. I'm trying not to get any air bubbles underneath. So slowly putting it down and then taking my hand and just pressing it down. Flipping it over, voila. If I find that it distorted a little bit, I can just manipulate it back into place. Now I'm gonna have to get close to do this. I'll probably have to turn it this way. I'll try not to get my head in the way as I'm cutting but I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and just cut an even border the whole way around. That's why I have to get really close to make sure that it's gonna be even. You don't wanna start out here and then come and be really thin, unless you want that look, you can do that. <laughs> but I'm trying to get an even border the whole way around. 
So just cutting the number one out. And same thing, if you pick it up, just smoothing out the edges. And so pretty. And I'm not ready to put this on the cake yet, so I want it to dry. It's a little curve to it. I'm putting it on a five inch cake. I have a six inch cake dummy, which basically has the same shape to it. And I have these little push pins that I put in the bottom to prevent it from sliding around. So I have two of them in here. And just take my number and put it on top here and let that dry until I'm ready to put it on the cake. So here you go, here is the number one. I've been letting this dry because I want it to dry with the curve. If you want it to dry flat, obviously just lay it flat down on the countertop. But it's super cute. And I love that technique where you, you adhere all the polka dots to the fondant underneath and then you can cut out whatever number, letter, or whatever you want. So you don't only have to do it for a number one. You could do, I've done this technique I have another video out, but I made stripes um, instead of polka dots. So you wet the whole fondant that you're gonna stick them to and then just put a bunch of stripes down. I can link that below as well. And like I also said, if you're gonna make this into a topper instead of putting it on the front of the cake, just make that back, the black or whatever the outline color is, make that a little thicker so you can stick a skewer in the bottom. I have a couple other videos where I show you how to make number toppers and I can link them below as well. So I think that is it. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will get back to you. And please follow me on social media. I am on Instagram and Facebook and I have my website and I will link everything below as well. And please watch these videos next and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Please like this video if you liked it. It really helps out my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.